When the internet was first getting off the ground, its information was overwhelming. No one knew how to access the data, so it wasn't very helpful. Then Google came along. Organising the world's information, they made it universally accessible and useful through an algorithm. This formula looked through all the information and helped sort it out and present it to users in the way we've all come to appreciate. This changed everything. How we did business and relationships. How we accessed information. Even how information was provided. And once the most relevant sources were being rewarded and delivered to the user, people came to depend on these results and lean upon Google's stated goal of focusing on users. Which led to one of the biggest evolutions of Google search when Google started to deliver more specific results in the form of answers. Instead of just links to sites, Google started looking at other types of information. Using similar algorithms, it sorted through the information of the world to try and deliver the actual answer you were looking for. Sometimes this came in the form of a location on a map, a weather forecast, or even the answer to a math question. And because Google was consistently delivering information that was most valuable to the user, everyone was happy. But lately, there have been some concerns. Google has started to further change the way it's displaying search. And people are starting to take note. Instead of running info through their standard organic search algorithm, Google has started giving preferential treatment to some of its own content to boost its popularity. Now, when users see results, some of them are still what's most helpful, but some are just what Google wants you to see. And here's the thing. They look the same. Even though the results that come through the back door have not had to go through the trusted algorithm. These selective and biased results omit some of the best information that is available on the web, making it more difficult for users to find what they are looking for and discouraging the innovation of those providing good information. So what was once a trusted platform to find relevant answers is now being questioned because if it's not being done in the best interest of the user, who is it valuable for? Right now, Google is being investigated because the interests of users, institutions and businesses that have come to depend on Google are being threatened. The solution? For regulators, Google, innovators and most importantly, users, is for Google to start acting more like Google. That's what it means to focus on the user. Allow the best unbiased results on the first page without giving preference to Google Plus or anyone else. The trust of users, the health and innovation of business ecosystems, and the rights of everyone to have access to information depend on it. You can protect the integrity of search. Download Focus on the User Local to see examples of the unbiased results that are possible. Share this message and contact members of the European Commission. We can keep the internet honest by helping Google continue to focus on the user.